Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we are going to be talking about two things. One is going to be set key delay, and the other one is the sin level. Explain a little bit more of what that's going to be in the upcoming video, obviously. <clears throat> so this is an intro video. I haven't realized I haven't done one in a while that's just like a very basic intro. So over the next like two months or so, I'll be doing a few more because there there's some commands that I've haven't done that I find useful a lot for people. Um, so I expect a few more intro videos coming out. I'm still going to be doing more of the complex stuff and whatnot. If there's any you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Try to do those ones next. And yeah, let's uh, jump into the code, shall we? So here's our script. I see this happen a lot, especially when it comes to video games. I've also seen some issues with other applications in general, especially when it comes to like inputting like passwords or usernames, it seems, <clears throat> where you'll write the code out saying, you know, send and your password or your username, and it goes so fast that letters are actually getting missed or like messed up. And so I see people write code like this. Where they're like, okay, well, I'm going to add a one second. Now, obviously, it's probably usually a lot smaller, but for the sake of the video, I slowed it down so you can visually see it better. <clears throat> but they'll do something. So here we're saying hello. They'll do send H, sleep one second, or a thousand milliseconds. E, thousand, one, L, you know, and so on. And why it does work for them, that's a lot of lines of code. You know, that's 11 lines of code right there. So let me just actually show you that in action. Let me find out what this script is called. Oh, it's already running. Perfect. So we'll just use it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and press F2. As you see, it's waiting one second between each letter. And it typed out hello. It works. But it's not the best way to do stuff, for sure. The way that I tell people is use set key delay. And then mark it to what you want. By default, it's, uh, I believe, 10 milliseconds, which is pretty much the lowest uh, Windows 10 can handle. I think a Windows 11 also, but I'm not sure. I haven't had the ability to test that yet. <clears throat> but um, doing this is going to make everything afterwards, all the, your sins and stuff, do one second without the need of having to do all these sleeps. So that's 11 lines of code where this is only four lines of code. I mean, two if you really want to just count the actual code versus the hotkey and the return, but whatever. So let's go ahead, press F1. I have another program running, hold on. It's always good to close stuff that you don't need, which apparently I have a bunch of, I have Skype running, which I didn't even know was on my computer anymore. Okay, F1. <laughs> So as you see, it's doing the exact same thing as it did up there. You know, it's typing out hello, one second key delay. But it's just, it's so much cleaner. It's easier to understand what's going on here. You know, I want to see, uh, what's this doing? H-E-L-L-O. Oh, hello. We're here, I can just go, oh, hello. It's just, it's cleaner looking. It's easier to understand. You know, maybe you're handing this off to someone. It's just, it's more readable. Now, this, that key delay, you're, if... You're only having it for that hotkey. You can put it in the hotkey. But usually I recommend putting it outside the hotkey, like at the beginning of your script, um, just because that's kind of like a setting. So your settings should always kind of be at the top of your script. Uh, but for this video, I, I put it in here just so it didn't affect other stuff uh, when I was doing like this. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what that's doing. Um, so yeah, that's that key delay. Change it to what you want. Uh, no point in going under 10 milliseconds because Windows 10 is not going to be able to handle. It's just going to default right back to 10 milliseconds. Uh, so yeah, just cleaner code, easier to read, easier to understand. And I mean, that's as simple as it is, but I see people constantly doing stuff like up above and they don't even know set key del delay exists. It's just, it's such a nice thing. I love using set key delay all the time. So yeah. Next thing uh, we're going to talk about is also set key delay minus one. And that's basically saying just run it as fast as possible. 
Now, this is where the priority of the script is really going to come into play. You're going to want to set your script to high, which you can simply do process priority high. Once again, this is a setting. It should probably be at the very top of your code. But for this video, it's inside my actual um, hotkey. So, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, process or process priority two commas. Don't forget that. Easy to miss. I've done that plenty of times. And just say high. It's automatically going to make your script run in high. You might, depending on your settings, get a notification saying, you know, do you want to make this change? You say yes, but it should just be fine. And then we're going to do set key delay minus one. That's just saying go as fast as possible. That way I don't even have to waste my time playing around with the numbers to see what's the fastest. It's just going to do the fastest. And then we're going to do send hello. So let's do that. Let's do that up here because there's more space. So I'm going to press F3. And that was like instant. Like you saw how fast that was. I mean, instant. It almost looks like I did a copy and paste. It was so fast versus it actually typing it out. So this is another one that I can see people using a lot. But once again, you could run into issues here where the program just can't handle something that fast and it's going to screw up the hello. You might get like H-L-L-O and it like messes up the E or it comes out of order. I've even seen it do for some reason. It, it can get a little funky here. <clears throat> but if you are looking to do stuff as fast as possible without having to sit here and test a bunch of times going, okay, let's try 50 milliseconds. Let's try 40 milliseconds. Let's try 30 milliseconds. Just put it at negative one. It's going to do the work for you, basically. I guess that's the best way to explain it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, what else do we got here? Next, we're going to be talking about, okay, our sin levels. So, I have a second script here. So, let me show you that. It's a hot string, and it's just H-E, and then it auto defaults if I push space or enter. It's going to type, it's going to replace H-E with hello. But here's the thing about auto hotkeys. If I run a script and then launch a second script, that second script is now the active script, and the other one basically is like suspend it. Um, so your hotkeys aren't really going to work anymore in that second script, even though you're running them both at the same time. So let me space this out a little bit. So let's test that out. So here for F4, we're doing send event, HE, and then we're doing a space, so you put those in the curly brackets. So let's watch this. So I got both scripts currently running, FYI. I'm going to push F4. And as you see, it actually typed out HE and space. No, no, I wanted it to actually trigger the hotkey for whatever reason. You know, that's, that's what I want. So we're going to do sin level 1. By default, it's 0. We're going to do sin level 1. And that's basically saying, like, you can go ahead and trigger the hotkeys and the hot strings in another script, even though... This is the main priority. This is the active script that I'm running is this one right here. And we're going to do the same thing. Send event HE space. So let's see what the difference is here. So I'm going to push F5. And look at that. Now that send level is at 1, it's going to trigger that hotkey on uh, number 3. Now let's push F4. See? We need that send level one there to exist so that the next event will do that. So yeah, uh, you know, this is really more going to be geared towards, I guess, gamers, but I have, I can't call off the top of my head, but I have seen some applications. I want to say one of them was a, um, like a chat client, maybe like Teams or Skype or something, or uh, I forget the other one that's really popular. Uh that's why I, th I know it was one of them that was having issues where if you type too fast, it was like really screwing up. I think Discord was another one, so it seems to be more of a chat thing. Um, but I'm sure there's other applications out there that this could be useful for where it's screwing up and you don't want it to. So yeah, if you have any questions about this, let me know. If there's something I missed uh, to say in here, definitely let other people know in the comments below. Teach me something new in case I didn't know something about these things um yeah hit the subscribe button i'm throwing out usually one two videos every week to you guys let me know what you guys want to see as far as intro goes that i haven't done yet and i uh, hope you uh, enjoyed and i will see you all on the next one